birds are all around us. In some places you'll find a lot of birds, while in other places you won't find many at all. So what makes birds prefer some places to others? And why do the number of birds change from year to year? Food is very likely to be important for birds. Many birds eat tiny animals that live in the soil, like worms and insects. These are called soil invertebrates, but we don't know very much about them at all. You can help us find out what sort of soils they like best and how they are affected by the weather. Your research could add an important piece to the jigsaw puzzle in understanding why some birds are becoming more rare. The first step is to choose your spot. It's really important that you don't choose a spot because it's special in some way. So the best way to avoid this is to throw a pen gently behind you to randomly select the centre of your spot. Once you've chosen your spot, measure out a 30 centimetre square. And once you've measured out your 30 centimetre square, you dig it up. It's important not to dig too deep into the ground. You want to dig up about five centimetres depth. It doesn't matter if it's a bit more or a bit less, but it's very easy to dig something that's far too deep. Once you've dug around the edge of your square, put the spade underneath it all and bring it up. The easiest thing to do is to empty your square upside down onto a tray. Slowly sift through the soil in your tray, making sure you find all the soil invertebrates in it. Divide the soil invertebrates into earthworms and other species. You may need to use the soil invertebrate guide or the insect guide to identify your animals. Count how many of each type of soil invertebrate you have and measure the earthworms as best you can to the nearest centimetre. If you've got weighing scales available, weigh all of your worms. Once you've finished, put all the soil back into the hole and try to leave it as neat as possible. Once you've finished, gently place the invertebrates back on the ground. Thank you for taking part in this important citizen science project. Take part in the survey and record your results online at jointhepod.org.